Hello again, this is Brian from CNC for you, and we're doing a little video here showing how to um, download from the Fusion 360, the post processor for Mac 3, and a couple of little local settings that might help you to get your project and your uh, machine running quicker. So, what we're doing is here, you can just see we've just got a demo file on here, which we use for cutting uh, on our, one of our mills, um, if you can see that on a previous video. If you do like this video, it would be nice if you could subscribe and like, and then hopefully other people might be able to find this information useful and help them get started. We're going to start trying to do how to or getting started guides, so they'll be hopefully quite brief and not too long and protracted, and just give you the salient points that might make you be able to get your project running. Typically, when you come into Fusion 360, you might come in on the, des on the design side where you've actually designed the part. Now, to be able to get to the post processor, we go to manufacturing. And you can see here, we've got, um, we're set for milling. And what we're going to do is we're going to load this up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go and search for the post processor and um, we're just going to go to local and we that's you can see there's nothing here so we're going to set up the local file that we want to use on this computer so we go to the fusion 360 library and what we'll do is we'll come down here and we'll find the artsoft mac 3 mil and you can see this one, so we'll just say that, and we'll say select. Now it's going to ask us where we want to do this, and you can see it's already come up with local, but you can choose uh, what type of file you want and where you want it. So you can pick up here, you could clear, you can see you could store it on the cloud, you could have it linked. Uh, we just have it local on, on each machine because uh, that's what we prefer to do. So we'll say copy to my posts. And now what we can do is we can go here and we can say local and we can pick up that particular file and we can say select. Now some of this information, because we had a post processor defined before, is already here. So what we can see, we've got Mac 3 mil here, and what we're going to do is basically just set up what we put, we want to do. I'll just go through some very brief things. Configuration is if you're using a fourth axis, uh, and you can see here, you can actually have it along the X or the Y axis. And basically um, here you can just choose it. We're going to leave it as none because we're not using a fourth axis for this particular unit. The good thing is if you hover over anything, you'll see a, a little box come up, information box. And here it explains fourth axis mounting along, etc., etc., which we just went through. So what we're going to do here is set this up. We're going to now set this one up to uh, dwell in seconds. And we're going to say here um, optional stop. We're not interested in that. Preload. M6, we use that, but obviously if you're only using single tools, you could turn that particular function off. Here, you can do radius arcs, or you can do <coughs> individual steps, IJK, uh, which is, you know, small little increments going around. Uh, that would be your choice. We'll set it up. You can also infusion set up smoothing, which has a very similar effect. We're not going to use rig rigid tapping. We're not going to use subroutines. Um, but here, so what we're going to do is we're now going to say here, what we want to do is we want to set this up as clearance height. Now, this comes in as G28 as default. Now, this is causing people a lot of problems because Mac 3 will tend to um, go to G28 and go up to zero and will actually... Uh, cause the machine to not actually go into the right thing. In fact, it will just drive the head up typically. Uh, 
So what we do is we just go into clearance height, which should be the height that you set up in your clearances for your machining operations. The only thing we will say is best thing you can do is make sure when you've zeroed and you've set your part up, you actually lift the head up to a safe uh, distance. Here we have basically um, numbering systems, um, the write the tool list which we want. Again, if you hover, you can see. So on the on the file, it will do that. It'll write the machine information. We don't have a machine information set up because we don't use it. We don't like numbers on our setup, so we say no because we don't want that to be um, individual things. Uh, we don't want to separate words with spaces. Again, I don't think it'll make any difference, so we'll just leave it on. And then you've got built-in functions. Let me just close some of these down. And here we don't set anything up, but if you, again, if you want to see what these particular things mean, you can just hover over them, etc., um, etc. Et so you can, you know, it's um, something that you might want to change, but we've left them as default and find no problems. So then you can just say OK. Right, so now we've set it up. So there, so now what we're going to do is we've now got this file. We've actually written our code here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to post processor. And it's going to ask us basically what the, the file is. So we'll just call this Mac 3 test. and save it you can see that it's come up and said it's done here it's given us a warning so if you hover over here you can see attention property safe retracts is set to clearance height ensure the clearance height will clear the part of fixture. So you can now, it's just telling you that you should be careful. This is normally also written in the NC code itself. Um, so again, so hopefully this should actually get you set up. So again, um, we'll hopefully go through some other points. If you've got any questions about the post process or difficulties, just put it in the comments and we'll try and answer you. Thank you very much. And again, if you could like and subscribe, we'd be very much appreciated. Thank you.